in Liverpool. Now, the look of the week. Tonight, those sounds were made by the Pink Floyd, a pop group who took over Queen Elizabeth Hall on Friday night for the entertainment they called Games for May. Of them, more hereafter. The Pink Floyd. You're going to hear them in a minute, and I don't want to prejudice you. Hear them and see them first, and we'll talk about them afterwards. But four quick points I want to make before you hear them. The first is that what you heard at the beginning, that short bit, those few seconds, are really all I can hear in them, which is to say, to my mind, there is continuous repetition, and proportionately, they are a bit boring. My second point is that they are terribly loud. You couldn't quite hear that, because, of course, from your sets, it isn't as loud as it is here in the studio and as it was in the festival hall in the Queen Elizabeth Hall on Friday. I will ask them about that when we come to talk. My third point is that perhaps I'm a little bit too much of a musician to fully appreciate them. And the reason why, that, why I say this is that, for they have an audience, and people who have an audience ought to be heard. Perhaps it's my fault that I don't appreciate them.
Well, if I first may turn to Roger, I want to ask one fundamental question of which our televiewers may not be quite aware the significance of it because they didn't hear all of it. Why has it all got to be so terribly loud? For me, frankly, it's too loud. I just can't bear it. I happen to have grown up in the string quartet, which is a bit softer. So uh, why has it got to be so loud, so amplified? Well, I don't guess it has to be, but I mean, that's the way we like it. And uh, we didn't grow up with a string quartet, and I guess that could be one of the reasons why it is loud. And it doesn't sound terribly loud to us. Yes, actually, not everybody who hasn't grown up in a string quartet turns into a loud pop group, so your reason is not altogether convincing. But I accept that you like it. What I'm saying is that if one gets immune to this kind of sound, one may find it difficult to appreciate softer types of sound. Sid, yes, no? I don't think that's so. No. Uh, I mean, everybody listens. We don't need it very loud to be able to hear it, and with some of it is very quiet, in fact. Right. I, I th personally, I like quiet music, just as much as loud music. We play in large halls and things where, where obviously, volume is necessary. And when people dance, they like uh, volume, you know, comes in uh, on its own, but... Uh, well, that's interesting. You see, when people dance, you did start, if I'm not mistaken, as a group which accompanied dancing, is that it? Yeah, you could say that. And how did you turn into a concertizing crew, if I may use the American term? Well, we've only done two concerts, in fact, yes. because the, the main scene with uh, pop music, which I guess is what we are at yes. the moment, is that uh, you play gigs around ballrooms and dance halls and this sort of scene, because that's how it works at the moment. But uh, we felt that there was no real reason, you know, why we shouldn't do a, an organized concert in a large hall where people came and sat and actually listened to what we do. Because uh, dance halls, generally speaking, are, are not very good places to actually listen to the music. Most people come along and the music, for most of them, has been, over the past few years anyway, just a sort of background noise that they can jig about to in certain sort of, you know. Were those two concerts successful? See? Yes, I think so. But the, us, I mean, when we play, I think uh, uh, the way the acts developed in the last six months has been influenced rather a lot by the fact that we've played in ballrooms, yes. necessarily, because, you know, that this is obviously the first market. Have but I think uh, concerts have given us a chance to realise that maybe the music we play isn't directed at dancing necessarily like normal pop groups um, have been in the past. Have you encountered any hostility um, towards your creation? Well, yes, we have, but... I mean, I guess there's been quite a lot of hostility going on in odd places in the country. I mean, the only hostility we've actually seen, of course, is that which has hit the national press and things. The sort of uh, professional knockers like Robert Pittman and people have had a go at us. Do you, in your turn, feel aggressive toward your audiences? No, not at all. In spite of all the loud loudness, you don't? No, not at all. Yes, there are, uh, there's, there's, not many, sorry. there's not many young people who sort of cause you know, who dislike it. No, there's no shock treatment intended. No, certainly not. You know, some people think that we deliberately try and um, sort of... Uh, shock. Shock the audience and make them, you know, by the volume and keep them quiet sort of thing. Yes. But this isn't so. Well, there it is. I think you can pass your verdict as well as I can. My verdict is that it is a little bit of a regression to childhood. But, after all, why not? That was Games for May by the Pink Floyd, who were talking to Hans Keller.